There are currently hundreds of different types of gene therapies in clinical trials. The potential for therapies is vast, since almost any gene in the human genome can be altered to treat a specific disease. But let's take a step back. What even is a clinical trial, and why is it so important? Clinical trials study the way a drug or treatment will interact with the human body, and whether a drug is safe and effective. A couple things happen before a clinical trial starts. The treatment is tested in both test tubes and animals. This step of the process is called a preclinical study. These studies check if the treatment will work and how much of it is needed to see a positive effect. It also checks the safety, looking for any negative effects. If the preclinical results are promising, the researcher then designs the study for humans. The researcher decides things like how many people will be part of the study or how a treatment will be administered to patients. Every trial has unique guidelines for who can participate in the study. Here to explain more is Dr. Adora Endu. These guidelines are called eligibility criteria and are really characteristics that participants should have. They typically include things such as age, gender, medical history, and many other characteristics. And this really is to make sure that the volunteers meet the criteria so that researchers can understand the results of the clinical trial. The researcher submits an investigational new drug application to the U.S. Food and Drug Administration, referred to as the FDA. They review how the treatment is made, preclinical data, and the clinical trial design to make sure the researcher has done everything possible to minimize risks to the volunteers. Once the FDA agrees that risks to volunteers are minimized, it's put into action. Trials are conducted in phases, with every phase modified to help answer a different question to better understand the treatment. If a study is not deemed safe, it will not move on to the next phase. Safety is a priority in each and every phase. This includes monitoring for adverse events, which are any undesirable experiences. The researcher collects information on how the event relates to the treatment, the severity, frequency, and how to resolve it. In turn, these become the expected side effects to be aware of. Phase 1 tests if the treatment is safe for a smaller number of patients. Sometimes, it also can determine the right dosage for patients. Phase 2 expands the number of patients receiving the therapy and determines if the responses to the therapy are favorable or useful while still monitoring safety. The treatment then enters Phase 3, which typically lasts the longest. In this phase, the main goal is to prove that the treatment produces the desired result while being safe in an even larger group of patients. If a treatment is being studied for a rare disease or one that has an unmet medical need, some phases can be combined to make the evaluation process more efficient. After the clinical trial, a marketing application is submitted and the FDA makes a final decision about whether the treatment will be approved to use. The whole process from clinical trials to approval can take eight years or more. However, the FDA has various ways to accelerate the process for some therapies, which has decreased it to as few as five years in some instances. The time it takes to research and move through the approvals process is necessary to properly develop safe and effective treatments for patients. For more information on gene therapy clinical trials, visit ASGCT.org.